Welcome to our lecture online. Well, whenever we have an exact square root, we simply have to either remember or grab a calculator and punch out the number and see what it is. But what if it's not an exact square root? For example, what is the square root of 55? Well, we can approximate what that value is, what the result is of the square root of 55. The way we do that is we go to the number that we know the square root of exactly before and after the number 55. For example, we know that the square root of 49 is 7 and that the square root of 64 is equal to 8. And then we see how far 55 differs from 49 and how far 55 differs from 64. So the difference between 55 and 49 is 6 and the difference between 64 and 49 is 15. If we now take that fraction, 6 divided by 15, which simplified as 2 divided by 5, or equal to 0 0.4, we simply add that number to the square root of the previous number, 49. For example, the square root of 55 is approximately equal to the square root of 49 plus this ratio, 0.4. We add it together, we have an approximate value for the square root of 55. If we now use a calculator to get the exact value of the square root of 55, you see that it's pretty close. Now let's do that again for something a little bit more complicated. Again, we know that the square root of 576 is equal to 24 and that the square root of 625 is equal to 25. Now you know that the square root of 600 should fall somewhere in between. So what we then do is we take the difference between 600 and uh, 576, which is equal to 24, and we take the difference between 625 and 576, which is equal to, looks like, 49. So now we take that ratio, 24 divided by 49. Well, that's almost equal to 1 half. That's approximately equal to uh, 0 0.5. So 24 divided by 49. You know that 24 divided by 48 is 0 0.5. So 24 divided by 49 is just a little bit more than 0 0.5. So now what we can do is we can take the square root of 576, which is 24, add 0.5 to that, and we'll get close to the square root of 600. So we can say that the square root of 600 is therefore equal to 24 plus 0 0.5. And of course, it's approximately equal to that, not exactly. So that is equal to 24.5. Now let's grab a calculator and see how close we got. Take 600, take the square root, and it's 24.495. So the square root of 600 is equal to 24.495. So you can see that we got pretty close to the actual value by simply making a quick approximation. And that is how that's done.